hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel don't forget to uh, subscribe and like for more video like this and in today's video I will show you how to deploy less encrypt certificate using ACME client with cloudDNS.net using DNS API so if you don't have a DNS service already uh, I recommend you to you a cloud DNS provider they are a European company, so they value RevXC more than a U.S. company. A lot of U.S. company, when you register for the domain, your uh, re registration info is actually public. It's on a public domain, and everybody can look it up. That including your personal email, uh, your personal phone number, and your personal address. Whatever you put in uh, at the time of registrations, uh, it's not the same for a European company. They are required to keep. Uh, the user anonymous uh, so they don't post the info uh, public on the public domain and if you would like to uh, support my uh, channel you can uh, using the cloud dns affiliated link that will give me uh, uh, a little bit of uh, commissions so i can roll my channel and with that let's get started so first thing you will need to figure out which your uh, dns service provider is and what the uh, you know, a parameter, um, the variable that you need to set for uh, your DNS API or the ACME uh, script. So for Cloud DNS, is uh, these are the variable that we need to set that the account, whether sub altern ID or the altern ID and the mm, password. So it. Uh, you don't know which one it is you can go on my blog I have included the uh, link on my blog so you can look it up for your DNS provider and once you uh, uh, if you're using a uh, cloud DNS when you log in is under API and uh, reseller from there you can add a new user and you just have to input the password you can skip the IP address uh, the system will automatically uh, generate the out ID for you and make sure you copy the L10 ID and the password uh, on a sticky note or a text document handy because we will need it and with that let's get started all right so from the TrueNAS dashboard by default you see it's uh, TrueNAS.local but the reason why I'm able to access is using my FQDN or fully qualified domain name because I have a, a DNS service running at home and my router automatically uh, assign the domain, uh, the default domain to all the client that connected to it. But we can change this by uh, heading to a uh, network and global configurations and we can change this to your uh, domain name. So sysadmin 102tech and you click on dashboard again yes it changed the to truenas.sysadmin 102.tech alright and now that we have the um, domain updated next step is to enable edit edge service so you go to services and go down to edit edge and we're gonna edit the config so we're gonna lock in as root with password normally I don't leave that option on but just for a quick um, tutorial or administrations I'm just turning it on real quick uh, I'm not recommended to leave edit edge on all the time unless you have a reason for it and your server like sitting in like a rotated environment like behind a firewall also it's only good secu security practice to keep it off and all right next step we're gonna open up the terminal Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And we're gonna lock it, uh, lock in to the true net using edit edge. So edit edge, and then your um, username, and add your domain or your IP address. First time you lock in, you can say yes, and then the password for your uh, user on true net. All right. And then we're gonna use the cd command. cd is the uh, chain directory, and we're gonna change the directory to uh, .acme.edh. 
I'm going to use the list command to see what in this folder. So the file that we're going to modify is the account.config. So we're going to use the easy editor or EE and account.config. From here, we're going to add it in the um, cloud ID uh, and the password for the cloud DNS. So when I head back to my website or DNS API, but you can also follow up um, on my website. It actually uh, show you the variable that you need to set. So I'm going to go back to a DNS API as well. So you need the cloud sub ID or in this case, I'm using uh, the L10 ID. So I'm going to copy that one. And I'm going to go back to the terminal. We're going to paste it in there. And look at my note at 9402. Next is going to be the uh, password. And that's going to be uh, cloud DNS underscore L10 password equal. And notice they put the password in the uh, double um, quote or I mean quotation mark. And then there we go. Quotation mark. And then we would copy the password. And we're going to put that password in there. And all right, in order to access the editor, you click on the escape key. And you hit enter. And we're going to save the changes. Next step, we need to register for an uh, email account with the, the let encrypt server so it can notify you at when your certificate expire uh, or about to expire and uh, uh, not necessarily the case normally the automated system gonna generate the new certificate but if it fails to do so uh, let encrypt server gonna shoot you an email saying that hey your certificate expire or about to expire so we head back to um, my website and we're gonna look it up the next command and the next command, we're going to just copy this command right here. So it's going to be ACME. So the command is, you know, ACME.NH, register account, and dash email, and then your email after that. So obviously, I already have an account, uh, so I say that it's already registered. But if you're using your email account that never been registered, it's it going to register your account. And next step, we're going to issue the cert. So I'm going to go back to my uh, website and we're going to copy the next command. Okay, so here, the dash, dash DNS, you need to figure out if you're using anything other than cloud DNS, you need to figure out the uh, variable for this one. Uh, and for that, you can go to DNS API. Uh, the link is on my website and it will tell you what's the command like for this one cloud dns this is the command that you're supposed to use for it all right we're gonna go back to a terminal okay so dns underscore allow dns that d so the first one gonna be your parent domain and the next one uh this is where we add the single quote and then star and then dot your domain name and quote single quote again uh, this is a wildcard certificate, so anything that come in front of that, it would be a valid uh, subdomain. So any uh, subdomain that they can use this certificate. So like truenas.sysadmin102.tech, they're able to use this certificate. Or, uh, you know, pfc.sysadmin102.tech, netcloud.sysadmin102.tech will be able to use this same certificate. And if everything uh, runs smoothly, this is uh, what you should get. You should get the location of your certificate, the cert key, the immediate uh, key, and the phone chain cert. And next, we're gonna deploy the certificate to uh, TrueNest using the, the deploy hook that come with the ACME script. So first thing we will need is the API from TrueNest. So run your TrueNest, you click on the gear icon for settings. You're gonna generate the API key. 
we're gonna add the new one and we're gonna call it ACME we're gonna add it and keep in mind that this API key it just generate the password one time for you it's just gonna show one time the minute you close this uh, you're not gonna be able to see it again uh, if you accidentally do so you can just uh, go ahead and delete it and add the new one we're gonna copy this and put it over here all right and we're gonna go back to the terminal so run the terminal we're gonna modify the um, account.config again so using the ee command and then account.config and we're gonna add the deploy script in here so I'm gonna go back to my uh, website I'm gonna copy the first one so deploy TrueNAS API echo and uh, quotation mark and I'm gonna copy the ABI key that we created earlier or the system generated earlier and quotation mark again and then next line we're gonna add it in uh, the host name in the quotation marks as well it's gonna be sysadmin uh, it's gonna be actually true net the sysadmin 102.tech and lastly it's gonna be https all right and escape to exit the editor enter save changes and next we're gonna deploy the certificate using the deploy hook for true nash and we come back to my website and we're gonna copy the command right here all right and it's succeed so in order for us to check to make sure that it's good to go we're gonna go back to our true nash and notice the true net actually disconnected because refresh we can refresh it again and notice how the uh, explanation mark is gone now because uh, the certificate actually verified by uh, zero SSL instead of uh, it uh, sell size certificate so we will log back in and there we go and the last step would be to create a cron job so it's automatically renew your let encrypt certificate when it would in 30 day of expiration let encrypt let you uh, renew the certificate within a uh, 30 day of expiration date so when you go to a task under cron jobs you're gonna add the new job and we're gonna call it let encrypt renewal and I'm gonna head back to my website and copy the command and we're gonna run this at root user you can leave a default setting to run the, have it run daily or you can change this to a weekly and submit okay you can test it out to see if, uh, if it's running or not by uh, copy the command go back in the terminal and there we go it's starting the cron job but notice it's the next renewal is not until July 12 but you can also force if you add the force option in here it will force renewal the certificate for your domain and that's it for today video if you think the tutorial is helpful don't forget to subscribe like for more tutorial like this Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.